Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Consider a lottery that involves drawing five different numbers in order from the numbers 1 to 60. Your friend gets the ticket 1, 19, 32, 44, 53, and remarks, Wow, all the numbers are in increasing order. You get the ticket 51, 34, 16, 11, 1, and say, Interesting. Mine are all in decreasing order. Another friend got the ticket 60, 40, 50, 32, 27, and another got 10, 7, 21, 54, 60, but their numbers were not in either increasing or decreasing order. You wonder how often it happens. What is the probability a randomly drawn ticket with five different numbers from the numbers 1 to 60 has all of its numbers in increasing or decreasing order. You can also solve the general problem. What is the probability if the lottery draws k distinct numbers from the numbers 1 to n where k is less than n? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching the video for the solution. So first, let's consider any five distinct numbers, A, B, C, D, E. How many ways are there to arrange these numbers? Well, the first number can have any of five possible choices. The next number can be any of the four, the one you haven't used. The next number can be any of the three choices you have not used. Then the next number will have two choices, and the last number will be fixed. So there are five factorial or 120 ways to order these five distinct numbers. Out of them, how many ways are there to arrange the numbers in strictly increasing order? There's only one way. You have to put the smallest number first, then the next smallest, then the next smallest, all the way to the largest number. Similarly, there's exactly one way that the numbers can be in decreasing order. It's the opposite of the order in the increasing case. You have to put the largest first, then the next largest, then the next largest, and so on until the smallest number. So for any five particular numbers, there are two ways to have them in either increasing or decreasing order out of a possible 120 ways that you could order them. So the probability for a given set of five numbers is two out of 120 or one out of 60, which is approximately 1.7%. Now notice this probability applies to every single set of five numbers. Therefore, the overall probability for the lottery will be one out of 60 or approximately 1.7%. We don't even need to know the different number of ways that you could draw the five numbers we simply know it applies to any set of five numbers, and therefore, this will apply to the entire sample space. Now we can solve the general problem similarly. For k drawn numbers, there are k factorial possible ways to order the numbers, of which two are successes. There's exactly one way to place them in increasing order, and one way to place them in decreasing order. Thus, the probability is two divided by k factorial. We know that it applies to a specific set of k numbers and it'll apply to any set of k drawn numbers. So the probability in the general case is two divided by k factorial. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Hallwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.